The Sleepwalker's Visions It was a typical night in the suburban neighborhood. The street lights illuminating the sidewalk as the moon shone brightly above. Emily, a 17-year-old girl, tossed and turned in her bed as she tried to drift off into a peaceful slumber. However, no matter how much she tried, her eyes just wouldn't shut. It was past midnight, and Emily was still wide awake. That was until she heard a sound coming from outside her window. At first, she brushed it off, thinking it was probably just a stray cat or something. But then the sound persisted, and it was getting louder by the minute. It sounded like someone was trying to open the window from outside. Emily's heart began to race, and she got up from her bed. Walking cautiously towards her window, she saw a figure in the darkness, attempting to pry open the window. She tried to scream, but her voice caught in her throat. She was too scared to move or even utter a sound. However, the figure soon retreated, leaving Emily alone in her room, still trembling with fear. The next day, Emily discovered that the figure was none other than her sleepwalking sister. She had no recollection of the incident, and when Emily described the figure, her sister was shocked. She claimed that she had seen the same figure in her nightmares for the past few weeks. Emily was dumbstruck. Her sister's sleepwalking had always been an issue, but this was something different. She tried to shake off the experience, and move on with her day. But as she walked to school, Emily felt like someone was following her. It felt like she was being watched. And that's when she saw him, the figure from the previous night, staring back at her with an unknown purpose. As the days went by, the sense of the figure following her grew stronger. Emily tried to tell her parents and friends, but they dismissed her claims, and it only made things worse. Despite all efforts to shake off her fear, she continued to feel the figure's presence everywhere. One night, Emily couldn't take it anymore. She confided in her sister about her constant fear and worry. To her surprise, her sister had a vision of the same figure in their house, creeping around, moving things around, and occasionally even touching things. Emily's sister felt it wasn't safe anymore, and the family moved out of the house the very same night. Years have passed, and Emily's sister no longer had dreams of the figure. But Emily could still feel his presence, even in her dreams. Every night, she dreamed of him staring at her, watching her, with an unknown purpose, which still haunted her to this day.